Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saikon and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign. Where I'm trying to survive against an onslaught of chrysalids. Operation Wolf Shadow is supposed to help us avoid the uh, impeding doom that has come on top of us at the moment. We are facing the doom clock. 22 days and around 23 hours. So still some more time, but I need the intel here badly. The intel will give us the option to get the facility lead done, and then the prime team will essentially go into the facility. So we're taking the secondary team for a ride. Uh, Hogbite, Haywired, uh, Dark Tower Naxxus, Mike the Public, Bravo. And then I needed uh, in the background, uh, just between uh, flying to here, uh, the uh, Covert Ops mission finished, which is the reason why uh, why Hogbite is back. Um, I needed two sergeants to fulfill another mission. We're getting yet another facility lead so that we can make sure that we're not coming into the same uh, problematic situation again. We want to make sure that we have at least always one option to deal with uh, the aliens. So at least one open facility. So, long-winded way of saying uh, Roro and uh, Ender Sanders are back. Uh, they will need to help out. Uh, we got some blue screen rounds since it finally came through. We're going to do a nice little test ride on uh, that uh, frost grenade as well. And that's really it. I mean, we have a lot of equipment that we want to test. Hopefully this team is going to be enough. Hogbite, by the way, got himself reaper i invested our points there uh, so we do have some sort of cleanup if needed let's hope this is going to be enough to at least go through the enemies and uh, get them down all right we landed let's take a look nice little shopping mall um it's going to be an interesting map this is going to be an interesting map um problem is it's so dense that i could imagine we're seeing pots here ish i can try to double whammy them Pull them from here and then move in from here. Let's start taking a look. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Excuse moi? That's not very good. And this is putting it politely. I would have other words that spring to mind. Some uh, of which are YouTube censored. Okay. Well, I hope that you can handle that, Roro, because this is going to be a really, really painful exercise if you can't. Okay, that's not bad. We could go that, that, or that. That's actually not too bad. Um, let's try to get some support. Not sure if this is going to be successful. Okay, let's give it a try. Come on. Ooh, yes. If we wouldn't have been successful, I would have just frozen the Mac. Oh, 
Okay, so what do we have? We got a quadruple or triplet here. I think we're taking the quadruple. Kind of a no-brainer. Which leaves us with that nasty, nasty infector. are also a problem but not as much as the others to be honest look that's not the most pleasant position but it is one that we could at least use starting to get down that infector to deal with uh, the sector as well we got breacher um, protocol so we can stand in the open here that's okay oh boy good hit fantastic hit going in aggressively I like that we can play it safe or we can try to be the hero but cooldown management will be important so playing it safe would be uh, going down shooting the chrysalid activating reaper taking both of the kills done hmm might need Reaper next turn though. Trying to be the hero would be something along the lines of moving down. I'm trusting you here. Using Shadowfall in order to kill the sector. And then phase tank. The alien. Which I think we can do. Doesn't matter that we're compromised. The hundred uh, percent hit was uh, what I was after. I tell you what, we're immune to explosions, so might as well do that. Good parry would mean we're in a good spot. You are kidding me, right? Reinforcements? No, okay. Stupid Reaper, uh, Rippers. But they are doing some extra damage, so I suppose they are not as stupid. I want to trigger a huge other pack, so we're carefully moving. Then this should kill many of them. Mike moves up. No, I want to shred. No, yes. Uh, 
All right, that worked well. And I think uh, this time we're actually going to set up for a multi-kill. Getting Noxus just up to speed. them in a uh, almost killable position. Okay, starting over here just to get that extra focus, right? Right. Okay, Reaper into One kill. Into a second kill. Into a third kill. down as far as possible very nice we leave the sector uh, for last because they have melee vulnerability and that's a solid six time kill chain on Reaper Not bad, not bad. <sighs> okay, so we need that second half of the map to go very well. Potentially one more pack left over. What? No. Oh, we triggered just one. Thank G for that. Two packs. Ah, uh, that's really, really bad. I'm going. How dense is this map populated? I mean, seriously. We got to deal with the Viper and the Infector. Catch. And we somehow need to make sure that we're not triggering that other pack. Never mind on that. Scratch what I've just said. We are now officially entering total annihilation mode. Hmm. Yep, that was bad. Might as well move in. I think it's quite clear that we need to get the mech down and trading combat protocol for that. 
is an easy no-brainer. This could be a kill, 50-50, the best choice, but... Okay, cool. Hogbite <coughs> is parrying, actually, because we need tanks in the front line. What's over there? Noxus. Works on that infector. I have a crit, by the way. Good job. Solid copy. Mike finishes him. Good shit. Uh, we could stand in the open and just overwatch for anyone charging in. Dangerous. I think I need the damage here. The other alternative is just full cover. Ah. Let's not do any experimentations here, so I can. Fifty percent chance to crit. I think I actually would like to take that, but it is only a fifty percent chance to hit. Doesn't matter. Let's go for it. Yeah, stupid shields. Gotta hate them. Yeah, parrot your tongue and immune to your poison. Well, we do have a cluster F over there. And now trying to get down our Mac. Mech can, I think, actively move in, right? Right, yeah. Threats this guy. Of course, not if it misses its 90% shot. Reload. Gets the assault. Oh, come on, game. What the are you even doing? Seriously. Keep going. We need the teamwork now more than ever. Get that stupid assault. Blinding protocol. I was sort of hoping for a bit more impact. I will save that blinding protocol for now. The heck is almost done, which is a problem. I can handle that. Roro moves over here. Still trying to get that assault down. No dice. It's over 
Purifier remains a problem. Sizable one. We're focusing on that Lancer. Wait, what? Okay, you're shooting at the demol uh, demolitionist instead. That was not the plan. Let's get rid of the mech. Sucks, but I don't want to fight the mech next turn. Blinding protocol. We'll take these three clowns out. Can we somehow reach the demolitionist? We could charge in, kill him from behind, and then play a little Rambo and move back here. That's going to be deep behind enemy lines, but we have a chance of taking one out and distracting them. Come on. Nice. Hogbite has finally moved into the enemy lines. And out of line of sight. Which means they will need to go for him. Or alternatively ignore him and get an open-ended fight going. They have high ground, luckily for us. Their high ground bonus does not apply. Grenade? No. I can't move. Mm. Lots of damage here. Okay, well, hmm. Roro shouldn't be the first one moving because we do have an overwatch there. Don't like that. Purifier is another problem, but the Advent Assault is potentially the biggest problem. 35% is not a good chance to hit though. Can we get rid of the shield bearer is a good question. The name of the game now is to stay alive for now. Soon the shields will go down. So let's focus on the immediate threats. Sustaining fire means we're just overwatching. Could move in, but we would trigger overwatch. Don't like that. Let's use aid protocol in order to soften the blow a little bit. So many stupid enemies and they do have a good position. This will trigger. Thanks to 8 Pro, call it missed. Nice hit. Full cover. It's potentially the best. This would be half cover. Full cover is potentially the best bet for us at the moment.
We can't. We would take damage, but not die. Uh, nope. No bueno. Another difficult uh, decision. Absolutely. Injured soldiers go into full cover. Let's try to kill this guy. Okay, fantastic. No. No massive grenade uh, that is going to come in. Striker is in quasi full cover through eight protocol. Come on, get back in the fight. Topping us off just to get out of one shot range. And we're clearing up the field from behind. Good. Are we moving back? Or are we helping by tanking two shots? This guy can't reach us. The advanced demo could move up. We are in cover over here, so this guy cannot simply reach us. And we could parry one, which means shield bearer into shot would be parried. Um, the other alternative is just to really go far back. No, I think we need to help tanking. The Hogbite is the right person to do that. Okay, nice one. That all you got? Ah, not good, not no, 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 not good. I'm all right. Okay. In a bit of here. Lucky, that could have been fatal. I'm all right. Ah, that might be the kill. Yeah, they focus nicely on him. That was actually impressive um, for an AI, for an AI. Okay, we do have a straight up front to back team fight here. Not great for us. They do have full cover. I mean, we do have full cover as well, but you know how it is. This will not go well for us in the long term. Three rounds bleed out, and I also very soon need to hack. I will have a thought about whom we're focusing on. For now we are moving in so that we can heal Mike the Public Bravo. That demo seems to be kind of a good joint target, but the Advent Assault has bigger damage potential, so let's go for that one. Unfortunately, a miss. Guardian could be an option as well. I can't hit anyone else. Let's try to go for the Guardian. 
50-50s are okay, anything below that, really not so much. Roro is too low, so we're just going to put him on overwatch duty. Um, and yeah, let's try to get the demo, which we can't. Finishing off the Guardian. Next turn we need to hack. Which in return means I need to get close enough so that I can be there in one turn. I need to move in, that's the problem. Could move to here. No matter where I'm moving, it would be likely double flank. But we do have a lot of hit points and the chance to deflect. That's full cover. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, this is a must move. But Hogbite being Hogbite, still quite healthy. Um Listen, we don't want to cluster up. The demo is still in a really really decent spot. I could suppress him though, which is a great benefit. Hayward overwatches. Roro full cover overwatch and we're going for the assault. Good critical hit. I like it. Damn, lightning reflexes. Damn you! Uh, but the aim penalty was big enough to make a difference. That means the shield bearer might leave him alone. Yep. Go for striker instead. We're taking a lot of damage here. Holy shit. The demo is the bigger problem. So that's a hit and an overwatch. All right. 
Moving into finally the flanking position over here. Huge damage. Lovely. Hawkbite heals up himself. There's no way we can help Mike if we're dying, so that's a problem right there. Come on. Not even close. Roro is not clutching it today. Uh, oh, I just hit one action. No! Whoa, how could I do such a stupid mistake? I could have easily killed... Okay, never mind. Well, that changes the situation a bit. Two more rounds until fatality. Striker moves into full cover, and we need to get one of them down. Not good. I think reflexes makes the situation worse. Mike just get two rounds of uh, d uh, worth of damage. You'll be fine. All right, Hogbite enters beast mode. simply begins to kill every one of them before hiding carefully Finally. move and move Ready to rock. reload overwatch overwatch Damn it, Mike died. Okay, we're just suppressing him for now. And blinding for good measure. Both of the penalties stack. So our 22% of hitting him might be just as much as he has. Roro, I don't want to lose anyone else. And Hogbite begins with his friendly massage. AKA, get this guy down. fighting this guy will go down like a cone of ice cream in the sun ok 
Okay, it doesn't get much closer than that, guys. Difficult mission. Very difficult mission. Yes, I did one um, mistake here, but I think that wouldn't have changed anything. The fact that Mike will drop from 2 to 0 is also uh, very interesting. I've never seen that uh, happen before. Uh, it might have been a bug or, or some display mistake. But yeah, not much I can uh, I can do if the game tells me it's two more rounds and then it isn't. Just think about the amount of enemies that we went through. A full chrysalid squad, a, uh, an enemy squad of six, reinforcement chrysalids and two uh, enemies of six. Well, rest in peace, Mike Bravo. You died as you lived, as a hero. All right, got a new lieutenant. Dark Tower made it all the way up. I like him placed still uh, with that ranged increment. Suppression uh, reaction shots will have a 10% chance for critical hit and plus one damage on suppression shots. And that isn't bad either. I think I'll go for combat awareness on him. Just for that extra uh, percent of defense and armor. That isn't bad. He will be hit less. Roro, on the other hand. Fire support. 10 aim to the shots. Return fire isn't bad either. Demolition could be fun. But I think fire support is better. And finally, Ender's um, Adrenaline Rush would have been useful during those missions. Shame that we didn't have it. Yeah, just look at it. Chrysalid, Infector, Shield Bearer. The Shield Bearers are hardcore for us. Not easy to go through them. And even the Mutant. Commander. Signal Jamming. Oh, wow, that would have been one of the worst events. Uh, double... Uh, mm, Double time for all, uh, for all scanning. Good. Wait, wait, wait. So we got Intel. I am still hard at work on We're changing research immediately into the facility elite because we're going to go to the facility next. However, we can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I'll direct our efforts towards the new research project immediately, Commander. Once we've made progress, I'll send word. Um, look, I, th I think we still need power on the Avenger, so might as well take that for now. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. We need more intel, so we're resuming uh, the alien decryption, and we are now able to go to this facility which has an alien ruler on top of it okay well we're going to do that the next time this campaign is starting to completely go off uh, uh, off uh, the chosen track we are with our backs against the wall. I need a couple of wins here, elsewise this campaign is over. So, uh, knock on wood, I need a little bit of love and support in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know how you think we're getting ourselves out of this predicament. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye bye guys.